Good evening again from Canada. I'm Scott Swan. Tonight we're aboard the Island Outfitters 2, a fishing boat off the coast of Victoria in British Columbia. The Olympic events are a couple of hours away from here, but in these waters you will find gold medal size salmon. So tonight I want you to meet two men who've spent a lot of time fishing in these waters, and tonight you'll also see why getting to this fishing spot is half the fun. In the chilly waters off Vancouver, there are no shortage of fishing stories. A 50-pound salmon, a 200-pound halibut. It's easy to see why people get hooked. And here in Cedar Sky Country, it only makes sense that landing the big one starts with a takeoff. You hop on, tell us where you want to go, and we'll, uh, we'll take you there. Jeff is a pilot for Harbor Air. His aircrafts called seaplanes take off and land in the water. So when you're flying a seaplane, where is your runway? Our, ru our runway is anywhere where there's water, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty much all over the coast. We have an unlimited runway. And these seaplanes will show you and take you to the most scenic places in British Columbia. Seaplanes are very much a part of the culture, are they not? They are, yeah. They, they're very much part of, uh, they've been around for, you know, 50 years, getting, uh, getting to and from the remote uh, locations that are only accessible by seaplane. Many of the remote locations are wonderful fishing spots, like this scenic area on the southern end of Vancouver Island. It's where some of BC's most experienced fishermen spend their days. All right, Ward, we're excited. All ready to go, go fishing. Let's go fishing. Let's go get some fish. All man. right. Our fishing boat headed for the Sook Basin on a sunny, clear day with temperatures in the low 30s. Whew. It's a chilly day today. Darren and Ward. Yeehaw! know that beneath the sparkling clear water in British Columbia... I'm kind of biased, it's probably the best place in the world to fish. There are plenty of salmon waiting for us. Wishing for winter Chinooks, or winter springs, they might be called. They're uh, uh, immature salmon. I'm going to go near bottom, which is about 120 feet right now. The guys have the gear... Uh, a flasher like this, which rotates and pulls the bait. Oh, that's a good one! A good one! And a boat filled with enthusiasm. And when we catch fish, it's like a celebration. Scott's got one on! Whether or not he's mad enough to bring it in, I think he is. <laughs> it's all the motivation I needed. Yeah, baby. That's a nice, that's 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 nice, nice fish. Yeah, it's another like seven pounder. Each fisherman is allowed a two fish limit. That's a Pacific cod, but that's just a baby. The smaller ones are released. Unharmed, he's back to the bottom. Oh, this is living. This is living. That is beauty. They're all nice. Never had a bad fish before. And that's what fishing's about. You know, it's like when you're a kid and you cast a bobber into a lake and you're waiting for it to go under. As soon as that bobber moves, you're up and running or up and pounding, and, and that just never ends. I don't have a problem keeping that. Five pound Chinook, it's a beautiful fish. It's what lures them back to the water. You're away from the city, you leave your cell phone in the truck, you know, so you don't have to listen to that either. It's, uh, it's a great way of escaping. Yeah, baby. I'm just totally in awe every time I'm, I'm up in the air and I see what I'm looking at. It's an escape above and below sea level. Great it's day awesome. to be out on the water. Oh, every day is. <laughs> every day is a great day. With the hopes of hooking the big one. What do you think in terms of size? That's about a seven pounder. Or at least one big enough for dinner. 